Let's take your calls. Let us take your calls. Boston, Massachusetts. Alan, you're on the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. Michael, pleasure to speak with you. First off, I love the 50s music. It reminds me of my late father. That was his music, and I appreciate it. Now, as far as uh, the present issues are concerned, yes, uh, it's all smoke and mirrors the way I look at it. Uh, the only thing that I've evolved on is the fact that independent party is more conservative than the Republican Party. And the reason why people sit at home and don't go out and vote is because we don't have a real conservative running in the office. First, well, hold, wait, people- stop. Wait, Alan, stop. Alan. Yes, we don't have a real conservative. We have rhinos. We know that's why Romney lost, because he was milk toast, stood for nothing, check pants Republican, country club Republican, wishy-washy. I'm on your side. That's why he lost. We know that. Okay. So Petraeus, though, wouldn't Petraeus have made a great presidential candidate? He could have, and I'll tell you, if uh, if Petraeus would have benefited this present President Obama, then this affair thing never would have seen the light of day. And I look at it this way. If you can't blame a former president for everything, the state of affairs, blame your own staff. And that's what he seems to be doing right now. He's, you know, everyone's supposedly stepping down. Come on, it's smoke and mirrors. You hear all this stuff happening. And most of us are just... Well, but, 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 wait, wait, this is a big deal. Hold on, this is a big deal. This is a big deal to out a CIA director like this right after an election. Anyone with a baby mentality can see what's going on here. But they don't see the bigger picture, is that, which is that was to neutralize him as a pre- presidential candidate because the Republicans never would have launched his career because he was uncontrollable. You don't take an 82nd Airborne general like this and turn him into a hack like Romney who will do anything to get ahead in plain English. I'm sorry, you don't want to hear it, but you're hearing it. The election's over. That's all. We don't have to suddenly, uh, every statement, do a mea culpa, but he was a nice man and wonderful and a great thing and he was cheated. I mean, you could say anything you want. You know, there's uh, so many elements of truth here. They're not all lies. They're all truths. But the bigger truth here is that Romney destroyed any chances for the Republicans to ever run another rhino because no one will vote. We saw McCain, uh, rhino lost. Then they run Romney, rhino gets fewer votes than rhino McCain. So the dummies in the Republican Party are not so dumb. Remember, they're still there. They're still in power. They still have money. They can still cut it up and divide it up with their Democrat colleagues. So they don't need a guy like Petraeus running for office. He's liable to actually do what the conservative movement wants. End of story. He's gone. He's toast. That's all. So we can talk about that. We can talk about the amnesty uh, of uh, a talk show host. This is a heck of a show. I got to tell you.